guys, so do you like my whole all dolled up in sweats ensemble? Um, yeah, my life. Anyways, uh, I wanted to hop in here really quickly to just give you guys kind of like a face and contouring routine. I've completely changed like all the products I've been using and I kind of did new techniques so i wanted to make sure i did a video just in depth to explain to you guys because tons of you have been asking me on my vlog channel what i've done differently with my face um and people in real life literally come up to me even at makeup events like beauty con people came up to me um and then like i went to a couple events lately and like everyone's asking me they're like what how what how how's your face like that because it just literally looks like my skin is perfect but it's not and there's no cakiness or anything it's incredible and it's all because of the new products I've been using so I'm super excited to get into detail with you guys if you guys would like an eyebrow tutorial kind of walk through everything like that I'll be happy to do that so give this video a giant like also I've been using a new camera let me know how you like this quality better or worse than the other ones I just feel like my other camera is not color accurate and I'm not very happy about that so let me know hopefully this works out better but yeah if you watch my vlog channel you know why I'm asking <laughs> but uh, yeah let's go ahead get started and yeah all right so I like to get started with a bare face and a little bit of a dance because why not right yeah, I'm just walking while I'm filming <laughs> what are you talking about I'm filming right now does your mom ever feel the need to just walk in and interrupt you <laughs> Anyways, I like to start off with my MAC Cream Concealer just to kind of cover up any places that I feel need a little bit more coverage. Um, this is really kind of a redundant step. I don't necessarily need to do it because the foundation is going to be so full coverage. But in case you do have a, like a pimple the size of Jupiter, this is like a good first step. Now I'm going to go in with my Custom Cover FX Drops. Um, these are incredible. They are so, so pigmented. Um, and I like to mix it with my custom infusion drops that are for hydration and my illuminating primer from Cover FX. Um, I've loved the illuminating primer for so long. If you guys have been with me, you've heard me like rave about it for like ever now. And I like to mix these three things together because number one, my skin is dry. My skin needs a dewy finish. And number three, sometimes I do want a full coverage and this is what it gives me. The It Cosmetics uh, Flat Top Buffing Foundation Brush number six is my favorite way to apply it. Pretty much how the custom cover effects drops work is what happens is it's pretty much your skin shade. You can mix it with whatever um, product you want. So say you want a matte finish, you can mix it with a matte primer. You want to make a tinted moisturizer, mix it with your moisturizer. Anything you want. Say you have like a foundation that's a little too dark for you. Mix this with it, like if it's in a lighter shade, and boom, you have your right foundation shade. It is made for you to customize your skin and it's incredible because I like to use it with the illuminating primer which gives me that nice kind of glow but I can control how much coverage I get by adding how many drops of it I have had. Guys, I've had this for about a month now and let me tell you I'm almost done with half the bottle because I've been using it every single day. I got problems up to heal. I got people in my ear telling me these crazy things that I don't want. Alright, now I'm going in with my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, and I like to go in with their No Tug Dual Eyeshadow Brush. Yeah, it's an eyeshadow brush, but I like to apply that. Um, I actually mix those infusion drops into that because I like a little bit more hydration under the eyes, and I do find that that concealer is super creamy, so it's really great for around the face, but under the eyes, because I have such dry skin, I like to add a little bit of hydration. And I like to apply this just lightly, less is more, because the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops are already so pigmented. You could literally take those and just like use them as a concealer if you wanted to and I go back in with that flat top buffing brush just to, like pat it in but do you see how like full coverage this is it is totally up to you and it's incredible now I'm going in with the pointed precision complexion brush in number 11 from it cosmetics and my Laura Mercier secret brightening powder um, I know this is supposed to be fairly foundation and cream products but I really love the way it can just really get into that inner corner in my eyes and it just is so dense the it cosmetics brushes are so dense I just touch my face and it feels like it's just airbrushed everything it's like already done the job for me I don't even have to do anything it's incredible I'm so in love and I feel like I just have been in the dark this entire time now I did the rest of my face please don't freak out I'll teach you guys how to do it next time if you want but if you guys want a tutorial on my eyebrows give this video a giant like um, that way I know that you guys want it so now I'm going in with my contour palette from Lorac 
I love this. So this color is so beautiful and it's the right color for me. If you can see, it's a little cooler than Benefits Hula, which is one of my favorites. And I love to use this NYX brush. It is just so flat but so dense and so fluffy. I like to take it and just apply it um, wherever it is that I want to contour, which is like, you know, in the hollows of my cheekbones. Um, it's starting to get really redundant now. <laughs> um, but the whole idea is that I want to apply the same amount of color um, on both sides, so that's why I do it first, and then I blend it in a little later. This way, I can see how much I'm applying. And then I like to also apply on the top of my forehead, which is where the sun would naturally touch my face. I don't like to do bronzer and contour. I like to just contour. Um, because my skin has little bumps on it, and sometimes when I use shimmer on it, it's just a little too obvious. Um, and then I like to go back in with that flat top buffing brush from It Cosmetics and just buff away wherever I feel the contour is not necessary or wherever I want to brighten. So if I feel like the contour went a little too close to my mouth, that's what I do. Now I'm taking the two-sided brush, that's the Complexion Perfection number 7, and the other brush is that No Tug Dual Eyeshadow brush I was using, and I'm using that light, light, light shade to contour my nose. And I'm using the kind of pencil side of the eyeshadow brush, and I just like create a little line. Now if you want to contour your nose, remember, if you're making it thinner, make sure you go a little bit more like closer onto your nose. Don't follow the natural line of your nose. Draw what you want. And then I take that concealer side, that small blending side on the Complexion Perfection brush, the number 7, and it gives me the perfect nose contour. I've pretty oh. much kind of covered all the bases, and if I wanted to do like a cream contour, I would have probably used the um, It Cosmetics Angled Radiance number 10 brush. Uh, this one's also really awesome. I could use this for foundation as well, whatever, but I just chose to use this one with my Cover FX Illuminating powder, I believe it's called, and it's just kind of a loose powder that I like to use under my contour to just brighten. It's a really great setting powder. I really like kind of loose powders right now. I don't know why I don't really like pressed powders at the current moment, but what I do is I leave it, and this is called like the baking method, where you just leave it there to just chill for a while. And now I'm taking my <laughs> Tarte blush in Exposed. It's my favorite blush right now, and I'm taking the Wand Ball Powder uh, brush in number 8 from It Cosmetics, and I apply that on the cheeks. Do you see how beautiful this color is? I feel like it's just so flattering. It's like a natural flush on your cheeks. It's like a little bit peachy. I don't know. And now, of course, I mean, can you guess? Becca Opal. Like, I really don't do anything else. I should probably, you know, pick a new one. If you have any recommendations, let a girl know. But I use a nice kind of, like, egg-shaped brush. Something small. I believe this one's from Sigma or something like that. But I apply that right on the tops of my cheekbones. I don't like to do too much highlight. Some people like to put it on their forehead and everywhere else. I kind of just stick to the tops of my cheeks and a little bit on the nose. Um, and then I go back in with the Complexion Perfection number no. 7 brush from It Cosmetics and just kind of brush away that excess powder. Sometimes it's um, a little too much, so I go back in with that uh, bronzing powder that I was using and just fix it up. So that's how I do my foundation. Everybody's been asking, and it's not like I haven't done anything new to my skin. I've been using my Curology thing, but here I am, and it's because of the foundation and the tools I've been using, it's made such a huge difference. So I hope it helps. Hopefully you try these out, let me know how you feel, and yeah. So thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and start studying now, which is why I'm in my sweats. I have an exam later this week. But um, yeah, I really suggest you try some of these things. They're incredible. They've literally changed the way I look at makeup. Like the cover effects drops are, are my new favorites. Like I can't, like the foundations I used to think were incredible, I can't go back to. Like every time I use them, I'm like, no, they're still not as good as the cover effects drops. And then I'm sitting there like doubting, like what am I gonna do with all the other foundations I have? now that just don't like they don't qualify as good as this one so I'm very very impressed with all of these products the cosmetics brushes literally have changed my makeup game because they apply my makeup so smoothly and so amazing it's just like tools really make a difference they really really do so hopefully this gives you guys some ideas for like the Sephora sale that's coming up or like for Christmas and the holidays like so you can ask like your boyfriend or whatever and be like listen if you really want to keep me, like, this is what you need to get, and this is how much, and this is when. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something. Give me ideas on what other videos you guys want to see. Maybe eyebrow tutorials or whatever. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! I don't know what I'm doing. Bye. Oh, fudge. Come back to me.